the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, year A, from the Epistle to the Romans. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In the name of that same Lord Jesus, who with the Father and the Spirit lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. So what in this world does Paul mean? If there's anything we know as Christians, it should be the fact that the eternal life in Christ Jesus does not mean that we get to escape death. Resurrection comes after the cross, not instead of it. Day after day, we make sacrifices, small and large. We decide that A is more important than B. Paul asks us to consider what advantage we have gotten from the sacrifice we've chosen to make what wages we've been paid by the masters to whom we have given our labor. For too often, we're quite willing to sacrifice others on the altars of our own greed to enslave them to our own anxious grasping after an elusive sense of security. What advantage have we gotten then from these and other sacrifices of which we ought to be ashamed? As we stand here, Surrounded by ruins, with perplexity in our minds and grief in our hearts, we ask God to look upon us and answer us, to provide us with a foundation for the building and the rebuilding to come. God answers us, reminding us what it means to take Jesus as our cornerstone, Jesus who led the way through death to eternal life. We follow Jesus and build on that foundation when we choose to go through rather than around the risk of death. Welcoming the stranger despite the risk of uncertainty. Welcoming the prophet despite the risk of accountability. Welcoming the righteous person despite the risk of equity. And when we welcome discipleship, offering even a cup of cold water in a disciple's name, we risk accessibility opening ourselves to concern about their welfare. The free gift of God awaits us on the other side of such risks. Shall we go then, together, to the place in the distance that God has shown us? Let the people say, Amen. In the name of that God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.